Yo, como están? This is Wild Dawn Twos, and thank you for joining me on my channel. It's a beautiful, cloudy, misty day here in San Antonio with an African dust that blew through. For anybody that's new to my channel, please hit the like, hit the subscribe, and the bell for future notifications of any uploads I do. This week, I'm going to go do a commentary and read out an article um, by memory called A Letter from the Spirit of a True One Percenter which was written by my brother, Miklo One Person. He wrote this article for MC for Life, which is a Facebook page. The Facebook page was um, built together by a handful of members of different One Percent clubs, and uh, they are writers for this uh, page. He also put a picture for this article, which includes four people, four individuals, that in his opinion, encompass what is meant to be a true One Percent. And each one of these pictures was used in the utmost respect for the respective organizations or clubs which those individuals came from. So let's roll the intro and let's get started. Alright, welcome back. This is Wild on Twos. So Miklo, my brother Miklo, is a fantastic historian of MC culture, and we do talk a lot almost every day, and we have talked about these individuals uh, that are going to be pictured, and um, we're going to get started with this article, but just before we get started with this article, I'm going to post these pictures, and just a short little thing, uh, and we'll start off uh, with the first one that um, is actually someone that Miklo knew personally. And told me that he was one of the closest brothers he has ever had. And that's Clutch One Percenter. Here's a picture of Clutch. Next we have Slave Louie. Slave Louie is a legend himself. I mean, for uh, his canary yellow knucklehead, which was featured in Easy Rider magazine. And then you got Tom Fugel. Big Tom One Percenter. Tom Fugel was a chopper building legend. And last but not least, you got Grub One Percenter. He fathered one of the largest and greatest clubs out there. He was so revered in his club that his brothers referred to him as God is good, Grub is great. At the end of the day, each one of these men never used the patches on their backs to commit wrongdoing, intimidate, control, or to show that they're better than anybody. But most importantly, their word was gold. And any real one percenter values that. These men would treat you the same as you treated them. So it starts off by just the title. A letter from the spirit of a true one percenter. I am the spirit of the one percenter. I've been around for a long time and I will continue to be around for a long time. I will begin this letter by addressing all my true brothers. The true one percent. Those that wear my mark with pride because they believe in true principles of the one percenter. Those that protect and guide their communities. Those that live by a code. Those that refuse to commit violence against women, children, sick, and elderly. Those that value the love and trust of their brothers more than any amount of money. Those that have given up on society, politicians, and their one-way laws. Those that seek freedom instead of power and territory. Those that give what they give. The spirit of the one, the true one percenter lives on in you. Lead by example. Practice what you preach. Never bend, never fold. Ne never let them see you sweat. For you are the elite, not because of money, power, or territory, but because you are the righteous few that have discovered the value of the value of and live lives of true brotherhood and true freedom. They sought out to destroy the one percenter spirit since the day it was born. Why? Because there is nothing more powerful. That's why we're still here. They can try every trick in the book, but they cannot kill our spirit. I would now end this letter by addressing my enemies. Those that taint and mock my mark. Those that spread false messages about what it means to be a true one percenter. 
those that wear my mark on their chest yet live their lives as greedy, selfish, power-hungry criminals. Those that wear my mark and do not practice true brotherhood. Those that wear my mark and victimize the defenseless. Those that spread false claims about one percenters to prevent budget cuts in their LE agencies. Those that put their egos above the good of their brotherhood. Those that value territory, power, and control more than the freedom to ride free with the brothers that love them. Those that use my mark to intimidate and extort. Those that lie, deceive, and betray every notion of brotherhood during the process of infiltration. I'm still here. You have tried relentlessly to poison my message of freedom and true brotherhood, but I will always live on in the hearts of the righteous. You can attempt to corrupt with power, contaminate with greed, infiltrate with snakes, ban our freedoms. It doesn't matter. The spirit of the true one percenter will live forever. And that was written by Miklo, one percenter. And uh, I mean, that just just hits home, you know. And uh, when I saw this uh, article and many others, there was about a thousand people that just loved this uh, article and it was a good exchange. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Till next time, guys, live life, God bless, much love and respect. Peace.